Today, I would like to talk about people who like to cool a vehicle more than necessary, so they cancel the heat winding or install fans at high altitude because we have excellent heat. Why is this not good? And what can it affect and what does it continue to do? And if the engine heats up abnormally, During the summer period, the questions that talk about cooling the engine always increase. Someone comes and does not have any problems with his car, which is running well. He thinks that it is better to unscrew the heat coil in the summer to cool the engine, as this makes a very difference in its temperature. Or he says installing a larger radiator is important, or installing additional electric fans on the fans. To a knee from the factory, or to program the car's fans so that they operate with the engine running and with all its energy, and the idea of all of this is to reduce the heat of the engine. Some people want the car's engine to be an ice machine and forget that the engine, in order to give you optimal performance, is necessary to reach the normal temperature between work 90 to 95 degrees Celsius, and some cars are more than this, only for those who reach it, combustion will be complete, torque will be at its peak, and pollution will be as low as possible. Let me explain to you why overcooling the engine is not good and undesirable. The spark plugs have a known operating number, or what is called the heating range. If they do not reach the required temperature or take more time to reach the spark strength and effectiveness, they will not be at their best. Worse still, Combustion will not be complete and carbon will begin to accumulate on the spark plug lens, and thus the torque will not be excellent. The oxygen sensor is the nose of the computer. It is a small battery that reacts and operates with heat. Yes, a small battery needs a certain temperature in order to operate. It sends a signal or voltage to the computer. When you start the engine, the computer starts and orders the sprayer to pour. Certain quantities of fuel are based on what is pre-programmed, not on the data that comes from the oxygen sensor. The computer is in an open loop state, or an open circuit, because the sensor has not yet heated up and therefore does not give information to the computer, but when the sensor heats up, the computer enters a closed loop state, or a closed circuit. He then sends his analysis to the computer, and accordingly, the computer increases or decreases the required percentage of fuel according to the working conditions of the engine. When you cool the engine, the sensor does not reach the required temperature. Therefore, it will not work and the gasoline dispensing will be higher than the normal rate because it does not know the exact amount required based on the working conditions. Keep in mind that when there is more gasoline than what is required inside the cylinder due to a malfunction of the oxygen sensor, and over long periods of time, two things happen to the cylinder wall, which contains more than the required amount of gasoline. The layer of oil that forms on the cylinder wall is washed away and protects it from friction with the piston, and this is a matter. Bad, the second thing is that part of the excess gasoline leaks through the nozzles into the engine oil and mixes with it and affects the quality of the oil and its protection of the engine parts. Since we are talking about oil, keep in mind that if the oil does not reach its normal temperature, its viscosity will be higher and the oil will be thin. It is more difficult to move, and this affects the effort that the engine makes to deliver the oil to all parts of the engine thus affecting fuel consumption and torque, not to mention that the oil must reach a certain temperature in order to work as a cleaner and remove the deposits that accumulate inside the engine. If the cylinder was colder than normal, because you decided that you understood more than the engineers and scientists who designed the engine, remember that the piston does not reach its normal size if it does not reach a certain temperature. When you make the engine temperature cooler than normal, it has a clearance greater than normal, and this leads to something called instant slap or piston slamming on the cylinder because of the increased clearance between the piston and the cylinder, and this ultimately affects the piston and the engine's life. 
The pieces inside the engine when you prefer colder than normal. There is something necessary that we must know. Every company designed its engine to operate at a different temperature than others, so do not compare the temperature of your car with the temperature of a second car. It is not a condition that the same thing is final, because the temperature of the Mazda is different from that of the Nissan, and that of the American is different from that of the German. If you want to compare, compare the same two engines from the same company exactly the same type. The problem is that we are people who do not believe in regular maintenance, and we neglect and drive around in the car without doing any maintenance for anything, not to mention the cooling cycle. When there is a shortage of radiator water, we do not look for the reason. Rather, we add water from the tap for months and months until it is damaged and every part of the cycle is affected. Cooling and the temperature rises, and then we go looking for solutions that are useless because the cooling cycle is not what it was in the past. We install fans, cancel the thermostat, change the programming, or any other shortcuts at costs that we think are simple, but in reality they are bad in the long run, so remember that it is better to change the radiator water. Every 150,000 or every 5 years, if you want to be in good condition, and advice other than him is to wind the thermostat, give the radiator, and run the engine, even if it looks normal. If you feel that it is rising, and with the summer, the meter has risen a little higher than what you are accustomed to and is fixed, then this is normal. The important thing is that it does not rise and remains rising. In the summer, you will see if your car heats up to an abnormal degree, stand on the side in a safe place and open the hood if the water does not boil. Or there is no water coming out, and I noticed that the reserve tank is full of water, but the engine is hot, let the engine run, turn off the air conditioner, and turn on the heater at the highest level. This makes the temperature go down faster through the heater, but be careful not to unscrew the radiator cap. Leave the engine running for a few minutes until the temperature drops, and then turn it off. The engine and leave it completely until it cools down, then try to find out the cause of the heat, and if you find that the water is boiling outside the engine, turn off the engine directly and open the hood and leave it open until it cools completely. Summary, dismantling the thermostat, installing additional fans, changing the programming of the fans, and you will be happy. Note that the temperature is always under something that is not good in the long run. The correct thing is that you do regular maintenance, and if the temperature is abnormal, you look for the reason and fix it, even if it is expensive, because it will be more expensive later. Mm -hmm.